Hello everyone, welcome back to The Colin Show. I am your host, Colin, and today I am bringing you guys the long-awaited Assault Class How to Not Suck video. In this video, we'll be going over weapons, loadouts, and just some general tips and tricks on how to rank up your Assault Class fastest. Now, before we get into this video, I want to first thank Exotic Gaming for suggesting this video. A card leading to your channel will be showing up at the top right hand corner right about now. And also, one last thing before we get into this, if the frame looks like they're jumping around from video to video, it's because I filmed on PC and PS4, so I just wanted to leave that as a disclaimer. Now, let's get into this. Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'll briefly go over the different weapons and what playstyles they suit. Your generic blaster, just an all-rounder, pretty good for everything and whenever you're just starting out. After 50 kills you get the A280, which is a pretty good blaster, especially when you get star cards, which are dual zoom, improved cooling, and improved range. Now this is my personal favorite, the CR2. It's like a submachine gun rifle variant. It's pretty nice. And I run reduced recoil and night vision so that it's pretty good for all but it comes with iron shot if you're anti-vehicle and last the EL 16 H F E I know it's a very long name Y E A but anyway it comes with reduced it recoil improved range and dual zoom so like I said the CR2 is my personal favorite which I am using in this clip here but if you're just starting out the F11 or whatever your generic blaster is pretty good and if you can get the improved range and cooling for the A280 I've heard that that's a pretty good combo and I'm pretty sure the I'm just gonna call it the 16 just cuz the way the name is so long it takes forever to remember it would be pretty good if you can get the reduced recoil and improved range so yeah if you're up close and personal like I am I'm a very aggressive player CR2 but if you're kind of middle range, then A280. But if you like to camp in the back with your specialist friends, and if you haven't seen my specialist guide, link to that in the top corner showing up now, use the 16. Okay, now I'm going to be going for what star cards I use personally. But this is subject to change depending on your needs and your playstyle. But since I'm very aggressive, this is what I use. I use Survivalist with at least Tier 3. I use Improved Thermal Detonator just because the Thermal Detonator is way more useful than people give it credit for. And then Killstreak Vanguard. Because I use Vanguard all the time. It's super useful and being able to get back as much of it as you can is really nice. I mean, if you can get to Epic, which is not that hard now, you just gotta be rank 35 and you gotta have 4 skill points. You can literally get back half of your vanguard each time you get a kill. Each time. Seriously, that is just amazing. Which is why I'm looking forward to getting to rank 35. Now, I just briefly wanted to go over what are the best emotes to use for the assault class to make your enemies a little bit salty. Now, I would say, I'm sorry and winner. Now, in this next clip, I want you guys to try and see the four things that happened in this set. A, I did right, and then one last little thing that's interesting about the officer fight. If you can't, then I'll be breaking them down real quick, just so that way I can show you. Okay, so first, I got my scan dart. And I knew where they'd be coming from, most likely. So I first took my scan dart and fired it, since you always want to open with scan dart. Then I saw these couple of guys here, but I know I shouldn't go <laughs> for them just because that would be a waste of my time, and I use cover. Next, I threw that grenade for pointless, but now I want you to see. I started walking because if you walk or roll, you don't show up on the radar. And I only started running whenever I popped Vanguard, so I'd be too fast for them. So, killed this guy, he had no chance. And with this officer, Vanguard is immune to disruption. So if a Vanguard gets disrupted, you'll be perfectly safe. So those are the things and some of the tips that are coming right now. 
finishing off the tips, I'm going to say this again just because it's super important. I really want to make sure that this is instilled in your guys' brains and game think. Open attacks with a scan dart. Literally, the scan dart can make or break you. I am telling you guys that. <laughs> Next, radar retention is your best friend. If you are good at radar retention, which is just every three to seven seconds, preferably less time is better, so that way you know more about what's going on around you, you'll be able to see how close you are to enemies. The closer you are, the more the more you'll know. So you just really want to learn how to read your radar effectively. Next, be sure to walk and roll because the way that you play assault is whenever you hear the word assault, you think, guns blazing, my name's Rambo, you are going to get wrecked. Wrong. The way you're supposed to you're the way you're supposed to play assault class is wait for it carefully aggressively not sure if that's actually a word in the english dictionary but for video's sake let's just say it is carefully aggressively means that you got to play smart yet you should play aggressively since that is mainly how the assault class is supposed to be played but you can use them passively it just it kind of diminishes the fun and uses of them <coughs> next be sure to team shot now, I know I hate team shotting just as much as the next guy because I am very much a solo player and I don't work well with teammates because 95% of the time my teammates are just absolutely useless. But in this day and age, EA, Bungie, you ask anyone that's a game developer, they want you to team shot and be a team player. Next, be sneaky and unpredictable because with that rock and roll, with that walking and rolling, you are able to make some pretty nice plays if you have good timing. So being sneaky is just like using cover to your advantage. Being unpredictable is being things that you, the enemy would think would not that you would not do. Sorry about fumbling my words lately tonight, but I am extremely tired because it is just about midnight. Next, use your grenades to end fights fast. If you chuck a grenade whenever you're about to die, or before you go into, it's a lot of skip grenades in Destiny if you guys have ever played that. Skip grenades can end a fight really easily just because they're super nice. So, always do opening shots with grenades. And lastly, use a CR2 because A, if you bought the Digital Deluxe Edition, it came already in there. Or pre-ordered at all, I think, if I remember correctly. And then B... <coughs> excuse me. If you don't have it, it's only 250 kills, which is not that hard to get once you get the A280. But anyway, guys, that is the tips and the tricks. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video, and I hope you all enjoyed and learned something about it. If you did, be sure to like the video, share it, and tell your friends about it. If you have any suggestions for any other How to Not Sucks that you guys would like to learn, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. But for now, have an awesome day.